Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. Still trying to make sense of this crazy Arizona market, and I'm going to tell you, don't panic. A lot of weird news going on out there, and a lot of people steering in the wrong direction. People have made decisions based on wrong information, and I'm going to dwell on that a little bit today, but don't panic. I saw a video the other day where this guy was saying that the unemployment rate jumped to 4%. Well, I don't know. I there's a lot of screwy things going on in the unemployment number, but I don't think 4% is anything to panic about. Went up from like 3.95 to 4. Oh, no. It just People just dig for things and dig. But one of the things that's going on that I haven't liked, and you've heard me say it on here, and that is marry the house and date the rate. Remember, the rates went up. They doubled, more than doubled. But then somewhere out of the blue came this, don't worry, you can refinance in a year because rates just don't stay up here like this at almost 8%. So you're going to be able to refinance next year. This is a temporary aberration. Relax. Don't panic. You'll be fine. It put people in an uncomfortable situation. You know what your budget is. You know what you can afford. But somebody came in and said, you know what, go ahead and stretch it because you'll be okay next year. Now, rates could come down. It's looking like we'll have a rate cut maybe in September, but guess what? Nobody knows. The chairman of the Federal Reserve doesn't know. Either does the president. Everybody's thinking it might do this, it might do that. You can make a valid argument that says that rates may go up. A lot of moving pieces out there. Economically, everybody's spinning plates. So nobody knows especially your real estate agent. If you've got a real estate agent saying, don't worry, you can refinance next year, ask him what his degree is in. Because even the people with the highest of pedigrees from Harvard, they don't know. So don't buy a house based on that. And these people did. When I saw this article, it made me cringe. They bought homes intending to refinance. Now they're stuck. Well, why are they stuck? It says here that they missed out on the ultra-low mortgage rates of the pandemic. By the time the couple could secure solid jobs and could buy a home, borrowing cost had more than doubled. So rather than wait, they stretched their budget buying a Bakersfield, California home that carried an uncomfortable monthly payment. Why'd you do that? You're not comfortable with the payment, but you bought anyway. Well, he thought the pain would be fleeting. It says here that... Stephen Wolf figured that the plan would pain would be fleeting within a year. Rates would drop enough to allow them to refinance and put hundreds of dollars back into their pockets. This hasn't happened, and it isn't expected to happen soon. In fact, rates are higher. We did this with the expectation we would only have to weather this high payment for a chunk of time. Now that chunk of time looking like it might actually be permanent. Well, nobody knows that either. Nobody knows that rates right now where we're at are going to be permanent. People are going to tell you, well, relax. It's 7% is where we've been historically. Well, house prices haven't been like this historically. So nothing's the same, folks. We never had this much quantitative easing unleashed in our country as far as how much money was out there that was available at cheap rates. It's never happened like this. And now we're trying to unwind. So... I don't know where it's going to end up. Our house price is going to crash. Um, I think for every argument that I look at that says it's going to crash, I can find you an argument and some math that shows you there's every possibility that we could have another round of inflation and house prices go flying back up. So what they said here was we did this, said, oh, across the country it said they did this. Here's, here's where we beat up real estate agents here. This is where they did here. Across the country, many buyers employed similar strategies after rates surged in 2022, at times encouraged by real estate agents and mortgage brokers who earn ooh, an evil commission on each deal. The tactic could still work, but as interest rates stay higher for longer, some Americans express a degree of regret. Remember the video I came out with a couple of weeks ago? 83% of buyers regret their purchase. A woman in Ohio said she's taken a second job. People thought their payment was going to go down, and it didn't. So they took a second job. Now, here's the deal with your payment. When you're looking at the situation that you're in, if you're one of these people in this boat, everything has a fixed expense and a variable expense. That's how you work businesses. 
Your fixed expense is your mortgage payment. You're paying the loan balance down every month. Smaller at first, but then it grows over time. But the payment's not going to go up. Your taxes may go up, but they're not going to go up in excess of what your rent was already going up. But so you have comfort in knowing your mortgage payment is your mortgage payment. Yeah, you stretched yourself. It's too much. It's kind of hard. But you know what? Foreclosure is even harder. So try to figure out what you can do with your variable expenses. A lot of people are saying they're going to go out and get another job. Some people, you know, they still have house their car payments. See if you can't get rid of that car. Take a look at all your variable expenses and see where you can trim down. How many trips to Starbucks are you making? Do you smoke? It's time to quit. Do you drink? It's time to quit. Do what you can to whittle down your grocery expenses. Your vacation, you may have to kind of delay it for a bit. Are interest rates going to go down? It looks like they might, but I wouldn't hang my hat on it. And if they did, that's a blessing. Hey, guess what? We can now refinance. Now, there's other news coming out that kind of drives me nuts, too. And this was by CNN. And they said here, a shady financial tool from the housing bubble era is making a comeback. In other words, they're saying, uh-oh, one of those nasty loans is coming back. This loan is a zero-down loan. That is not what crashed the housing market in 2008. What crashed it was mortgage payments resetting. Even that couple that I showed you that said they're upset that their mortgage payment's high can rest assured it's not going to go any higher. 2008, they couldn't say that. I'm pretty comfortable with this payment. My realtor told me that if I can't refinance, go ahead, you'll sell it because you'll have all this equity. Well, guess what? Everybody panicked and tried to sell at the same time. Nobody had equity. Everybody gave their houses back. And you can see where that's reflected when we look at average prices, annu average annual sales prices, annual average sales price in Arizona. Here's where the crash happened right there. You all know this. It's a broken record. And you know why. But then prices continued to go up. And they're still going up today. This was the shock of the interest rates going from 3.5 to 7.5, and it really put a jolt on prices. So don't panic, folks. There are things that you can do. I caution you, if you're looking for a home right now, to know what your budget is, not your realtors, not your lenders. Lender's going to give you a prequal. It's going to have a payment on there. You're going to go, holy cow, I didn't know I could afford that. Well, the lender doesn't know how often you go out for dinner, how many vacations you have planned. They have an inkling how many kids you have, but they look only at your bills, what your fixed bills are, what your credit card payment is, your car payment, and your house payment, and your tax payment. And they qualify you based on that. They don't know your variable expenses. And they might get a look at some of your bank statements and go, wow, they, they sure go out to dinner a lot. But you know, and you know what you can afford. So don't let people put you in a payment that you're not comfortable with so that you end up being interviewed by Channel 12. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick at rickhelps.com. Take care.